you got a basketball hoop and a basketball and it was like and then pour me a concrete pad so i'm just out there in the dirt again just like 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 poor michael jordan from the beginning of space jam like that but the version that didn't try yeah that's how i see myself as the michael jackson <laughs> from the beginning of space jam doesn't try <laughs> yeah yeah same exact thing yeah yeah um i saw that there was a hero on the new york subway yesterday who who choked a crazed man uh unconscious and um <clears throat> i guess he just kept on subway I, I never hear good and, stories on subways well it, it depends on you kill him he killed him <laughs> he killed him yeah uh, the guy was crazy it was a crazy homeless person What's, screaming and such do you so back when i did brazilian jiu-jitsu i used to like live for this shit in the same way that gun nuts just like scour the internet for times guns were used for good uh, mm-hmm. I would scour the internet for times that like rear naked chokes were used for good. And <laughs> one of the things that goes wrong a lot is when the victim is on something. If they're on mm-hmm. drugs or alcohol, that guillotine choke that you've done a thousand times before is more deadly than you expected it to be. Yeah. So if someone a- like showed up at your jujitsu gym and like they'd been drinking, they'd be like, no, get the hell out of here. You, you not <laughs> well, yeah. safe. They or would, would they be like, hate you that. arrogant piece of shit, come on in. Oh, that's, that's what I want to have it. I let, so p- new people would show up at the gym all the time and not recognize that they're bad at grappling, which is yeah, glorious. They would, they'd would be like, all right, 15-year-old skinny kid, go roll with that man. And the child would just manhandle him. And it's like, okay, that's our whatever, four-month white belt. Do you want to work your way up the chain? Would you like to go with Woody next or someone who's really good? Not saying that me like yeah, yeah. Woody or someone who's really good. And uh, and I just I love toying with them. Or if somebody new had such a physical advantage, maybe he's in boot camp or something that uh, he's beating up on someone they he would get dealt with. And it's sweet. I saw well, a guy. Got, yeah, he was beating up on a girl. Right. So this is a really sweet Mormon couple, both blue belts, both good at this. Mm-hmm. But the the wife, she was like this hot 115 pound woman. Right. She can't beat even an untrained guy who's active duty army. Sure. And he was the or I'm sorry. She was the only person he was getting the best of. Right. He, he'd gone around. We had all had our turn with this freak who couldn't grapple. And then he gets to the girl and he's putting his form in her neck and just like oh, grinding no. it and holding her down or whatever. What? Yeah. Because. He needed a win, and this is the only person Weird. he could beat. The girl, well, read the room. <laughs> read the room. <laughs> Husband trains them too. Flying <laughs> and and he was just doing like takedown drills on this guy, picking him up, putting him down, and then you know the, the guy didn't even want to go anymore. But the the bell hadn't rang. He's just like, get up. There's more, and uh, lessons were learned. A guy flies over my head and goes, "Hey, Kyle." And I go. My name, my gamer, t- my name on Tarkov is Kyle. It's like, yeah. yes, Kyle. So he's like, hey, Kyle, what's up? Are you the real Kyle? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's just like what it's like a real hold up in real life. You know, you can't do anything back because he's he's God. Essentially, he's flying already. But, yeah. but long story short, he was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, would you like some free gear? And I'm like, yeah, I'd love some. And he's like, be right back. And he flies into the, the map and takes somebody's <laughs> shit and flies back with it. And like, duh, 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 you got like duh, one of those trained duh, crows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a tra- he, he like dumps it all out for it and gives it to me. And he's like, oh, I like your video, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Where you did this and that. And like, I was like, okay, man, cool. I, you shouldn't be cheating, though. It's kind of ruining the game. He's like, yeah, I know, right? Woo! <laughs> like, away. He, away. he like Mary Poppins <laughs> away. Uh, what a uh, prison coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, I think it was technically jail. Um, so in jail, you get like one coffee a day um or or you could uh, that's not exactly true you don't have more than one usually but but you go to commissary and you can buy a lot so it seemed like this guy had, was in a situation where he had to save them though i think they said that and so he had taken 28 instant coffees and dissolved them into hot water and drank 28 days worth of coffee and he was out of his fucking mind like a lunatic bouncing off the walls they had to put him in like a stretcher and 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 sit, like secure him down, and he's screaming, and they think it's methamphetamine. He's like, "I can handle the meth. I can handle the fucking crystal methamphetamine, <laughs> but I can't handle the coffee." 
<laughs> what was he what was he like before the coffee like was right. he like a mellow like laid back kind of guy no, or was he like like meth <laughs> okay <laughs> it was a replacement for meth is my understanding yeah, yeah. Right. holy shit i i've never taken anywhere near that much caffeine but uh i would think it would like hurt you like like do something like something bad would happen you. did Probably. you see uh there was that video Derek made like a year or two ago where that dude had like powdered caffeine like pure powder dry scooping caffeine. energy and he was dry he like was putting caffeine like into like just powdered caffeine into like a cup of water or some you know juice or something to drink it oh and he what he thought he took five grams of caffeine Woo! and he had a heart attack frothed at the mouth and died like yeah I, he you can't take five grams of caffeine and yeah one tenth of that, like is, that is gonna have- that's a lot yeah, yeah and I would take like, like half a gram. At five grams of caffeine. That's like, you know, the size of a creatine scoop. Yeah. Like, it's almost scary because it's like th- that amount of any little powder, especially caffeine, like internally, you should know it's an absurd amount. But like looking at it, it wouldn't. Well, actually, yeah, it would totally jump out at you. Yeah, this, it would. Especially if you're it, buying this. Yeah, It would be it, like doing that equivalent amount of cocaine, honestly. Like, uh, yeah. like, like yeah. I've. Hey, that, that's so much goddamn caffeine. If you drink too um, much water, you can die. Yeah. You know, anything. Yeah, water sickness or whatever. It's like, it's an insane amount of water. Like, you'd probably be, isn't the amount of water you have to drink for the water sickness thing? Like, you'd have to be trying, like, hoping not to vomit and stuff. Just yeah. Vomit probably. Yeah. Yeah. I would it imagine. usually, it usually you happens. Know, and, uh, <clears throat> it's usually a hazing uh, type thing where, where these um, pledges are forced to drink water. And uh, that that's how every case I've ever heard of came from that. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know that. Yeah, Ugh. what a terrible way to pledge in. Like, like yeah, you got to drink a four gallon container of water. <laughs> you die halfway through because <laughs> humans can't. We're not camels. We're humans. Your yeah. blood gets so diluted it doesn't work anymore. Basically. Yeah. You just have no electrolytes in it. Like there's I don't no know if it's nutrient, electrolytes. No, or, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but yeah, it's not it stop us. You it puff work up, anymore. You get all bloated mm-hmm. i guess <laughs> i don't know you get watery Doesn't sound good that would be yeah. start crying you're just leaking everywhere mm-hmm. from water what a terrible way actually how much does it hurt do you just kind know, of man. fade away as you're like <laughs> you drown i imagine they're Maybe. pretty drunk too Pro- you know I, they're probably making them drink beers as well i don't know i don't yeah. i don't want to die like that water sickness what a bitch ass way to die i mean i want to mock all those brave young man who died of water sickness <laughs> of water sickness i mean yeah, if you're gonna but, uh, die, what you hear more is like the fraternity like drink this whole fucking handle of bacardi and then it's like he died how surprising and it's like yeah yeah you can't can't d- drink a handle of liquor and not die remember that guy like, shoe nice <laughs> oh we know unless, him yeah, yeah he's on our show many many years ago yeah, right? yeah. He, i remember shoot do you remember like OG shoe nice. Did you watch him when he was starting out on? I YouTube, did. Maybe? Yeah. Like the, the liquor slams and the glue and like all, <laughs> yes. all that stuff. Yeah. I remember eating the whole container of caulk. Yeah. 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 Like th- all that. He would eat a lot of non edible things. I remember yeah. back then. Yeah. Like pine cone and so like, like, like crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were, uh, we were all on a trip together, uh, like a bunch of YouTubers like long, long ago. And mm-hmm. uh, and we would watch his videos together and be grossed out and just just in wonderment at how there was a, now a celebrity who was making six hundred dollars a video who ate cock. <laughs> and it was like he's got it figured out, man. He's doing what he loves. I mean, he was a pioneer, you know. Like no one else was doing that stuff. Yeah, back then. and yeah, and uh, it, I, I think he does TikTok now, and he still poisons himself basically. He's on a good stretch then. We're talking about shoe nice. How I he, figured that was my guess. Yeah. <laughs> he was seem like a TikTok star. Is he killing it there? That's his platform. You know, I, I would I would imagine so. His 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 content would be yeah. it's real, you know, it, it's fit for that. It works. But people say not, it's not monetized well. No, it's not monetized well. Like like people will get twenty four million views and it it makes like three dollars or something. Yeah. I don't I don't think but those is, have I, I just want to know like not how much people are making per view because the view mm. numbers are all so skewed. How much are people making? Is it is a decent TikTok star making 30 grand a month? That would tell me more than 24 million views is worth X. Not as much as a decent OnlyFans star. 
I, I, that's got to be. I, I don't know. That I don't know though. Like on, <laughs> like on average, I wonder what the average is so skewed that it's hard to get a real good idea. Um, I, our boy Finn is is killing it over there. I would guess he's making hundred k US a month, but but I think that's conservative. Come on, you get me those pills. You give me those pills, and just tell me you give me a PK Christmas sweater. All right, you do that, guys. <laughs> Hear me out. I'll eat that. I'll take a bite of that raw onion that everyone keeps fucking <laughs> bitching about. <laughs> keep bitching about this fucking <laughs> onion. Or it's not a big right? deal, bro. I get my shit about the onion. This is our last chance. Don't tell me about the onion. It's our last chance. Be like, he's acting like a big deal. And then people are like, oh, this podcast is so lazy. You know, <laughs> another podcast, they do so much. This podcast is telling us we're playing about the onion. And then I look at it, I'm like, why is it? Bite an onion. Okay, I'll bite the fucking onion. Just get me my cum pills and I'll fucking do it. Okay. You wind me up with those cum pills, I'll bite the onion for you. And then everyone can shut the fuck up above the onion. You know how I many have, messages I got about the onion, bro? You do, because you probably got a lot of messages. Yeah, people them. tweet me pictures of onions all the time. <laughs> <laughs> still and be like, the, eat the onion bitch and then i'll be like at this point i'm kind of enjoying like not eating the onion and seeing people you're like, like i'll get the jew to eat the onion yeah i'll get it no man. but I, fair I, I, trade I, I, you get me those cum pills i'll bite the fucking onion i genuinely didn't know there was an onion kerfuffle but i'll I, can i eat the onion and take the bullet like like, like i just don't want yeah to you eat the, the onion bro i'll be honest with you i've bit I'll, 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 I'll eat a significant totally amount of an onion next show i well, I've eaten can, a significant amount of an onion, onion on my own <laughs> I, I found a new tv show i like a lot and i want to talk about that and, and if we can do that instead i will take a big old onion bite now, I'll find <laughs> let's go onion. let's go i will find a dirty i get compels he's not eating an onion and you get to talk about the show everyone wins if wings wins I will find a conflict region onion, a blood onion, if you will, the most <laughs> acidic onion that money can buy. I'll have to use crypto to a buy Ukrainian it. Ukrainian onion from Elon's onion mines. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna, fucking, yes, that's that's what they feed the the emerald miners in, in South Africa. Yeah. Nothing but those awful onions. Oh, blood oh, onion. Onion. Like that, like that movie. But, holds. Um, will you show us a picture of Gorlock the Destroyer? Go ahead. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. No, I was watching. You know, I, don't I, know I anything about this? Is this I like a to watch your thing? Yeah, I like to watch um, those those silly podcasts where women say silly things. And uh, this is Gorlock the Destroyer. She they they asked her to describe herself. I think and she said she was a bad bitch. <laughs> and and she just kind of goes on about um just just really full of herself. I, I really hope you have a picture because you got to see it. It's or it's not funny. What podcast is it? Like what? I don't know. You it's know. just women sitting around talking about Gorlock the the decimator. It's the destroyer. The destroyer decimator better. Oh, there's too many people on a pod. Whoa! Yes. There she is. You found her. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's Gorlock. I've seen yeah. her before. Man, this episode was so fucking. I don't. I don't, like. She's I, gonna I'm grind sure. your bones to make bread. <laughs> Dude, she's like talking about like you know in high school when you just throw on any little cute little dress and just go to go to school and the you, the girls making side eyes at her and shit. The whole, whenever she says something that's like an obvious, I don't know, troll. Um, no Taylor, pun do intended. You know this podcast. <laughs> I the assume one we're looking at is it called whatever. The yeah. whatever show, Zach. Can you zoom out? I think the previous picture show. Oh, okay, so um, there's what happens is this: the, every show is about the same. You have this guy who's a podcast host, and he is a professional communicator, right? Like this is what he does, and he makes his point, and he often has these stats and studies and stuff at his disposal, and then he brings on these girls. They're from OnlyFans typically, and he tells them they're making life mistakes that like, yeah, you're kind of rocking with it right now when you're 22. When you're 30, you're going to be alone. You're going to die. Get a cat. You suck. And uh, all the girls just get smashed with their long term negative life decisions in this. Show. And I don't know how he finds more guests. I don't They I, agree. They're happy to come on for the for exposure. But if you had like a podcast 
where you just verbally and physically beat up on 50 year old ex gamers. And I watched this week after week and then I was invited. I would say, no, thank you. Right. I, like, it, but you're but, retired. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so what they, I bet, I don't know, but I bet they say something like we get 10 million impressions per podcast when it's chopped up. And I bet it's more than that. Mm -hmm. they, they, they give them impression numbers and they're like, these girls are all social media whores of one kind or another. Most of them, uh, maybe the majority have only fans, but all of them have Instagrams, you know, that are, that they're making money off of. So it's a huge deal for them to come on his show and maybe come off. Well, you know, Gorlock ain't picking up no fa only fans. I don't you think I'm not, I'm not, she on that only fans, but I bet I don't you, fucking I know, man, she, that was I rough. Bet she does, but, uh, you know, they might look like fools, but potential customers out there might see them as fantastic. Like, yeah, what you've sucked over 400 dicks and slept with a hundred guys. Like, do you realize how hard it's going to be for you to find like a good man with that track record? What men are looking for, he would say is a subservient woman with a, with low mileage. And, uh, but if you're like a sugar daddy or something and you're like, huh, I could, I could get that then maybe this is like effective advertising and they're smarter than I'm giving them credit for. I can't Perhaps. stop thinking about think that it's... woman's body shape. Yeah. <laughs> small, small, tits. Tits. Yeah, small tits. Did you notice that? that? That I did notice that that's tragic. Yeah. That, that grease is gold tooth looking bitch. Yeah. Oh, that's looks... such a good reference. <laughs> <laughs> if Zach could show us grease is gold tooth, that'll get a real laugh out of everybody. I promise. Um, but, but it's uh, Oh my goodness. Look how big. See, like, Look at her body shape there. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, I just found it. That's Danny DeVito. She's shaped like Danny DeVito. She, she is. is. Now, oh, you know, I'm going to go ahead. back to an argument I made three hours ago. I think mm. if you push that woman over, she doesn't get hurt. She just rolls. Yeah, she rolls. She's young and spry. Mm. Yeah, I don't think she could. And and I hate to be a hater. Boogie. Like like, never mind. I'm not going to give her a hard time. Oh oh. If I that mean, and if it gave you pause, it no, there's <laughs> Grease's go tooth. <laughs> he rides around in a wagon because he's immobile, and he's in his left hand. You'll notice that's a big, uh, a big hunk of meat. It's a big leg of oh, something, nice. probably a lamb. He often he's says two he's weapons. too rich to walk because he makes <laughs> everybody else carry him. Yeah, very cool. Too rich to walk. You have to be like a Saudi to be that rich in the real world. Remember that one guy who was a. Uh, he got to about 800 pounds in Saudi Arabia. This was about mm. 20 years ago. He's not alive. And they had to, uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. They, they, had to, they had to, they had to cut the side of his house out and get a oh, crane. That guy. And then he was kind of like waving on the back of a flatbed. Like he was, yeah. you know, the sole member of a parade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just throwing candy. They're the house throwing candy at him though. <laughs> what gets lost in that is, um, the pooping. Uh. Like, how does that? Oh, happen? it gets lost, all right. If if you're immobile like that, are you just pooping in place? And is your you, you have to be? Like he couldn't nurse. move. And I think I know with I think Boogie maybe told us somebody obese that we talked to us told us, or I've heard it at least that they talk about like having a long Swiffer like squeegee attachment, like 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 a like a big stick with a whole bunch of sponges duct taped to the other end, and, yeah, and, and, and a bucket. Now, Zach, can you pull up a fat person ass wiping device so we can take a look? Because you're right. <laughs> we have talked about this. I don't remember if it was Boogie Bonus points if you show us a Korean woman. I have a motorcycle. <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> remember that 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 air? Uh, there was the story of like the, the guy who forced the airline lady to wipe his ass. And he was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then he was like look, coming. I, oh. It looks like it's a. Uh, um, what is the wet toilet paper called? Just wet wipes. Wet wipes. Thank you. I lost it for a second. looks like wet wipes. I don't see how that would work. I need a sponge. I need something with a little. I think it's, go, it's it. like a belt loop. I bet in there. I bet it's like going in and then coming out like a fish hook. That like. That, that <laughs> then how do you get the shit off? No, you know um, what I bet it is. I bet that little. It. I bet that plunger on the end is holding the TP in there with like some pinch, and so you're supposed to wipe your ass and then hit the plunger, and it's supposed to drop it. I bet. Don't hit it twice, though. It'll pinch your asshole. Flopping. You see Wings of Redemption? Close. Yeah. <laughs> you saw I went, I went, I went to the press conference and I saw Jordy in person. Never met him in real life. Ooh. You know, if I had known <laughs> that you were gonna be there today, I'd have sent you five hundred dollars to have you dress up as an old timey whaler. And to be out in the crowd with a harpoon and go, Yer she blows! You got me like, so like, excited for a second. I was like, if I knew you were gonna be there. I was going to be right there with you. 
Oh, but no, instead, no. you're like, I was going to pay. I'm a, I'm a felon. Um, but <laughs> I, I always no, forget telling, about that. Me too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. I cry at night. <laughs> about wings, though. Tell me more. Well, it's so crazy. One of what's crazy is like, I go and I get into the press conference, and like, this is where I realize that like, like I'm a fan and I have a parasocial relationship. Yeah. yeah. So it's like my girlfriend. I was like, that's like his wife. She's the fucking look, bitch. Oh, shit. The fucking wings his wife right there. Ah, oh, bro, look at her. Can you saw the whole pod. It's like, I can't believe fucking wings his wife right now. Fucking crazy. <laughs> and then Jordy came in, bro. Must have been 11 feet tall, 780 pounds. Fucking came in. I was like, <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> and also, uh, Boogie, but Boogie, I've met Boogie before, so I, you know, I'm like, what's up, sure. Boogie? How you doing? How tall is like, I'm good. Uh, I'm really bad at this. Both of them have to be under six foot. Okay. They have to be under six foot because right. I only know when someone's under. Oh, don't worry, Woody. You're taller than Wings for sure. I met Wings a couple times. Yeah, yeah, I, you're taller, bro. I, I saw it different. <laughs> When they had their shirts off, Wings looked like he could put his chin on top of Boogie's head. And in this picture, they look a little closer in height, although the Wings is still taller. Bro, Boogie I'm drank meaning. Prime. Boogie Boogie took a big mouthful of Prime energy drink and spat it on the dirty head. And I was like, I, I was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm fighting bear. But it was you like, you're smack spit? You Dude, I love smack like him. That. You've got to smack him right there. <laughs> You got to mm-hmm. slap. Well, actually, Jordy said that. And then you after. back Jordy up was... into like a karate stance that's comical. So you can <laughs> then walk away because you can't fight. Can you believe? Can you believe I met this motherfucker one time and I'm like, Jordy this, Jordy that. Let me correct myself. Wings. Yeah. <laughs> Wings was like, he was like, I was ready for him to slap me in the face. Because I was like, bro, you fucking spat that shit on your head. Like, well, I would have fought. He was like, he could have slapped me in the face. I wouldn't have done anything there. I was okay. Like, okay. He's a professional. Yeah. Oh. Well, low key, I was like, maybe Monk. he's mad. Maybe he's mad lazy. He looked a little <laughs> maybe mad. Maybe he's mad lazy. <laughs> he, did, he did. Actually, he had one. He had one killer line because because Boogie came out and Boogie was dropping all the common bangers that we know. He yeah. was like, "Damn, wings." He was like, "You left the mobile home," and he was like, "Everyone here is here to laugh at you." And mm-hmm. he was like, "And when I'm fucking, when we get in the ring, he's like, I'm gonna." I'm going to, I'm going to drop you. And Wings like, what are you talking about, man? I saw you go up those stairs over there and they almost dropped you. <laughs> That's true. Boogie, Boogie was low key struggling, just like doing his thing. Like, you know, uh, moving and, 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 and Jordy seemed much more comfortable existing as a big man. Can I just you know say, what I not mean? just that, not just that. There's yeah. a moment where let's show the clip. Let's, let, let's just show it. It's like a minute, right? Jordy like hitting belly. like a heavy bag outside. Is that what you're looking no, for? No, let's show them belly bumping and everything at the point. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's a good oh, because, I have that because, on my phone. <laughs> because you can, because don't you pull can it see, up. <laughs> you can see in that moment that wings is the one with the power. Like, like they bump at each other like three times and wings wins that every time. And Boogie mm. has to go to this like arm pushy thing to try to try to like, not look like a punk. Uh, it's and, you know it, not only that they have their you're, shirts on. You're, you're right. And um, by the way, thank you, Woody, for all the beautiful things you said about me uh, in regards to my fights. Oh, getting God. punched out of the ring and oh, all did that. Did you see that? I love uh, that. Yeah, yeah. You, you took that well. Um, you did. You took that well. Yeah. Uh, like I was thinking about that. I was like, when you pull up. Here, oh my God! There's <laughs> even more belly down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you belly. Kicked it. See, I'd have kicked that little fupa. <laughs> you show me your fupa, I kick it. <laughs> I put on his karate. He should have kicked it. Like hacky sack kicked it. Like kept hacky sacking yeah. it. Like, <laughs> wings has to because of his hips and all. But yeah, yeah. I little little sideways hacky sack. Man, yeah, fuck that. I, uh, There's a moment I told them where both. They I was like, they... yeah, where they were pushing, they were like yeah. bumping, and, and and wings. And this is what I was saying. Why I brought up my fight is that like, there's an element of wanting it. And my first fight, I boxed Aaron, and like. We were both like boxing, but when I was boxing John, I was like, oh, he fucking wants this, needs this, and means it. Mm -hmm. I saw them on stage, and I was like, Wings fucking wants this, needs this, and means this. Boogie's like, I'm so happy that I'm not in a wheelchair. What? And and, 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, Boogie's like, I'm so happy I'm not in a wheelchair. And Wings is like, I'm fucking ready to put you back in. And he literally said, (laughs) I'm going to put you back in there. (laughs) 
Um, and I, I think that is an element that is an element that Wink has. Oh, man. Um, and, well, look, I'm going to have to watch. It's Saturday afternoon course. at like 11 a.m. for the East Coast America people. Obviously, the fight's taking place in London or whatever. Um, man, I, I, I was completely wrong. Uh, I didn't think Wings would would actually go through with uh, any of this. There's like five steps along the way where he could have backed off, uh, backed off and quit. Didn't he have a hiccup that was like an excuse? Boogie said that too. Boogie was there like was some contract uh, stuff, but I don't think that was on his end. I thought there was like Boogie, a sickness Boogie was or like you got or maybe I'm crazy. Boogie was like you got you got <laughs> fired from your own show because you couldn't go camping. And after this fight, you're going to have no money. You're going to be living in a tent at the end of it. And I'm like sitting there next to my girlfriend. I'm like, he's saying that because what happened? There was this thing. And I'm like trying to break down all the dumb shit. And she's like, uh-huh. Oh, Lord. uh-huh. Um, but after I went up to Wings, I was like, yo, man, I'm fucking here. I literally like don't tell KSI, but Wings versus Boogie is why I bought a fucking flake. <laughs> shit ass country. Sorry, <laughs> um, uh, but I was like, I really want you guys. And he was like, hell yeah, man. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to be on. I'm going to go on PKA tonight. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, tell Kyle that I want to have a PKA reunion. Okay. No. Uh, I want it. Mm. I want it too. I want it. I want it more than wings. Maybe I was like, oh, really? Wing. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, tell Kyle. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. And so that's <laughs> it. Yeah, I, I told you. And I, I have really... to tell. No, right. okay, yeah. No, it's I don't know what it is, and I'm going to save it for later because I have no idea what it means. But yeah, continue. I was going to say I was wrong. Uh, I, I want to be clear about that because I really did not think he was going to go through with it. I really didn't. Me neither. Because, I agree uh, with you. Neither did I. And Good uh, him, man. Good for, still got to get in the too. ring. But it, he's yeah. like 95% of the way there. So I, we can almost call this good. Bro, yeah. like if he if he backs out now. Oh. I'd be very surprised you know, if Wing does anything but if Wings does anything but win this fight. Yeah, bro. If, they, if either of them back out right now, like I'm right here and I'm like, <laughs> funny. Mm-hmm. I brought my gloves just in case this shit happened. Turns out <laughs> I'm a heavyweight too. With fucking, <laughs> I'm a fucking redemption. I think I can fuck one of you guys up after getting my ass beat by a <laughs> Did you go in there and actually kill Boogie? Like <laughs> that's all would happen. <laughs> You'd punch his head off his shoulders. You Dude, know, I there, actually is there have, any I have possibility? A of this fight being anything other than total wings victory or boogie being kind of, you know, injured badly. Like hopefully that doesn't happen, but just looking at boogie standing there, you know, he he really struggled to stand next to wings, even in the belly bump. I don't think boogie could get injured. I, I feel like the thing is he'll go down too easily to get hurt. To get injured takes a lot of stick to itiveness, bravery. You have to you have to weather a storm or two to really get rocked in boxing. But you drop too quickly for any lasting damage. Oh no, not a punch. I, I'm meaning like he puts too much torque and his leg shatters. Like his his ankle breaks, his knee gives out. Like after that much time of doing nothing, like trying to like throw yeah. a hip into a punch. Like I bet you could really easily overexert. Like. I'd be I'd be pretty scared if I was Boogie way more than Wings. Like he he knows the limitations. I, I think of the fight. I just think the fall could be bad. Like I know it's a canvas and it's spring. no. You're right. You're right. I thought that too, Kyle. I thought the same thing. I was like, falling is not something you do when you're like is it a big is boy. it boxing like, ring the was, same as an octic? No, I've been in boxing rings. They're bouncy. They are bouncy. Mm, I, and yeah, I, I recognize you still, that. But yeah, still, not not like he's as so much big. as you would think. I don't know. I'm I mean, worried that I'm a fall could, di- could break a hip or dislocate something. Like, if you're bouncier than the ring, the ring isn't that bouncy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, the ring's hard. Um, I, you know, well, like, it's funny. Like, like, like when uh, for, for my match, when I was going down there, like, I, I'm sure they'll, they'll have this, too. Um, I did my um, – I'm walking to the ring, and as I'm walking, even though if you guys watched, like, I was very stoic, and I was so like, I'm fucking do this. I was conscious, and I'm walking down there, and I'm like, bro? I can't believe John Bennett is going to be punching me in the face. And like, <laughs> I'm like, we're, this guy's going to punch me. I'm, I have to punch him in the face. This is fucked. And like, I don't know. Wings, I feel like almost has it, but I don't know if, if, if Boogie has that. I don't think if Boogie grasps, like, you're going to have to fucking punch him in the face. Yeah. And I like, I feel like Wings means it more. I'm surprised neither of them got a trainer. 
or uh, anything like that. Um, I, 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 I did that right away. Um, a lot of creators on Creator Clash the first time didn't get a trainer or a boxing coach. The second one, everyone did. But the first one, I was like, are you fucking crazy? Someone's going to be trying to punch you in the head. You don't want to learn how to... And yeah. I see them both. They're punching we were, their things. They're punching their things, but, you know, I don't know. Oh, we have to talk about the fight. We have, we have, I can't believe we haven't talked oh, about yeah. his fight we at all. We need to watch the clip. Dude, I was so, when he came out there singing his own walk or rapping his own walkout song, Amazing. I got hyped. I was in a Discord call with PKA fans. We were all hyped. He was a showman and he was just exuding confidence. And I, and I was, oh, people don't know, I was texting Wings before the fight that morning back and forth. I like to text because he's obviously having a big day. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. He can choose our level of engagement and walk away. It's not like the phone where he's like, fuck, I wish I wasn't sure. So, uh, uh, but we were texting and wings got a lot of confidence by watching boogie struggle with the stairs. And it, like Harley mentioned that line, like you're going to feed me. You struggle with the stairs on the walk up. the yeah. <laughs> and, and he was telling me like that guy couldn't get up the stairs without the handrail. I've got this. Like he felt really good about it. And he was right. Um, the during the walkout wings wrapped his own song and one, he did well at it, but two, like, I feel like if I did that, if I put myself in his shoes the whole time, I'd be wondering if like what people were thinking of me and you'd see it. You'd see that like lack of confidence. He doesn't have that thing. No, he was just out there doing it. He was yeah. just, just being a showman. And uh, um, and he goes out there and they start the fight. Boogie is on a stool. Boogie's on a stool, not. Like like conserving his energy, he doesn't want to stand while he waits for the it's white. A bad look! Right? It's <laughs> such a bad look. They're like, oh my gosh, this guy is like, look, I, anyone can get tired in a fight. Fighting is mm -hmm. exhausting, more so than you might realize. But um, uh, to to sit on a stool and everything, like, I standing is not that exhausting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do you want to watch the fight? Or do you just want to like cover it real quick? It's ten minutes. Good gosh, we we oh, are allowed shit. to watch the whole thing, aren't we? There's got to be a highlight. Play, thing, maybe right? play like highlights or clips of it. I, I like like maybe like it would be cool if you were. This would be hard, but if you jumped around to the shit we're talking about, I wanted to talk about when he came out rapping. First of all, we were fucking. I, hyped everybody was like talking a little but i was like he's singing shut up because <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't believe he was singing now here's I what it. i was impressed by as imp the whole night the, maybe the most impressive thing he did your heart's gonna be racing right in that moment you would think if you're a normal human being sure. maybe i i'm not sure that 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 he like gave a shit at that moment his he was i wish we had a heart monitor on him even but when yeah. he comes out, like he has to walk and rap. Like a horse, I'm a happy drunk. I'm the papa big mama, cause your daddy's drunk. I'm gonna oh pop my. it up like a good gift flip. Make you holler for a dollar. Look at him. Dude, he's, he's happy. killing it. He's in, his, <laughs> he's in his comfort zone somehow. So Look at him. <laughs> Look, and right how well slipped. he got in? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you want to tripped. Yeah, Boogie, <laughs> when he leaned forward, he had to like run to get his legs back under his upper body to sort of catch it. It, it like it was a it was a center of gravity thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I had not seen the clip of him coming onto the stage doing the rapping. That's yeah. that's great. That is so much cooler and better than I thought his entrance would look. You're right. He looked comfortable as shit. His little like casual pointing, like he looks in his element there. Good for yeah, wings. He's playing to the crowd. He, he was just in his happy place somehow. Yeah. I, Dude, I gotta see boogies now by comparison. Like, <laughs> UFC champions don't have like have bigger nerves than wings appeared to going into that fight. Yes. He, yeah, I uh, what nervous. I was gonna say was the the combination of him being huge or whatever, having to walk out, rapping, and the 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 scariness of that moment, he should have been out of breath when he got in there. So one of those things just isn't true anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think he had any nerves. I, I think he's just like whatever that is in a person that gives you nerves, and you're like, oh. What will people think? I don't think he has that. He's out there like w with fucking ice Look in his this. veins. This is the heaviest Ooh. combined fight in the history of boxing. That's awesome. this is like the, the clips of those wildebeests. <laughs> like Ariel Hawani tweeted. Ariel watched this with his kids. Ariel Hawani is like the <laughs> biggest MMA journalist in the world. So Wings gets some punches Ooh. on Boogie. Ooh. Right about now, Ooh. Boogie is surprised that this is an actual fight. He's like, he, oh, damn. Well, we're he said, punching wow. The, 
to the face. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, Boogie spends a I, lot I, of the rest of the fight. I, Boogie did. Boogie won that one at least. Uh, oh, are they taping his pants? Oh, yeah. Here comes oh, the taping of the pants. The yeah. Boogie, the moon we, nearly we, rose. Maybe leave the volume on. But Boogie has been. Yeah. yeah. It's. I'm um, I'm so pissed about this, by the way. I some it was I streamed uh, two days ago or something like that, and someone just went, oh, "Did you see the wings fight?" And that's how I found out that it even happened. I was because uh, it was in London. I would have a hundred percent gone to this, but I didn't. On, on paper, <laughs> on paper, you might think that this wasn't a, a fun fight to watch, but when you're there and you have the whole wardrobe malfunction, you have like the announcement team having a little bit of silly fun with it, the walkouts. But like, and then yeah. Wings putting on a really good showing, like better than I think. I mean, yeah. this is what I thought he'd do, but I did, I thought Boogie would have something to go with it because w- Wings was throwing these kind of combinations, just this sort of one-two overhand Ooh. thing against um, like Keem or over or Vert Flow or somebody holding mitts, and that's maybe a week or two ago we saw that, and I was like, oh no. Wings hits hard. <laughs> that Wings hits hard. Really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this isn't going and well. And Boogie's Boogie. realizing that right now too. My yeah, goodness. the trouble is Boogie never earned his respect, right? Like you, you've got to get Wings playing little D too. Nope, Wings was free to tee off all fight oh. long. Yeah. There's that and, clip, like that gif I've seen 50 times now of like Boogie, like slowly turning his face, like directly back into Wings uh, glove. Have you seen that one? Just getting replayed all over. Oh. It's a bad. I don't think there was any point at that that Wings was not having a blast based on it. Like it looks like he's having an actively good time. After yeah. like the first couple seconds, where I, it's like, wait, you mean I just get to tee off up here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did Boogie land zero punches? I don't remember any. N- I didn't zero. see any in those zero. Clips. So, yeah. and, and again, fight analyst Kyle here called. This. Okay, mm-hmm. we saw him with no hip rotation. Right, those arm punches I talked about. The real problem it seemed like was his shoulders, though he couldn't get his arms elevated enough to get to get any strikes in at all, and he was shorter man by a considerable amount. And man, wings can throw punches, and Boogie can't. And mm-hmm. in boxing, that is a real problem. Yeah, if one guy thing. can punch and the other one cannot. I hate to disparage a man's courage because it hits so deep. But what Boogie was doing in there, turning his head, looking the other way, getting hit in the back, that's just instinct, you know, just putting well, yeah, that's what all he, he needed do. was to take punches to the nose, keep his hands up, and return fire. What he did is just put his hand away, look the other way, hope for mercy, and there was no mercy to be found in that ring. I know. <laughs> that's so that's funny. Was I know. No I've been... Be I've been <laughs> there was no... <laughs> but Wings hadn't forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> and he hadn't. Boogie. Yeah, <laughs> like the edits that come out of all that. Holy shit! Boogie wasn't <laughs> engaged, facing the music and returning fire. He was just looking the other direction and putting up the weakest defense you possibly could. Well, he'd had no training. I, I, I mean, like, no, I, I what, Boogie, Boogie <laughs> oh. getting that's an interesting action shot. Boogie getting <laughs> like Boogie Recoil. getting into the ring at all is brave. Recoil. Like, yeah, that, that dude is like he Boogie isn't retarded. He knew he was gonna get fucked up. Like. If he didn't know, like, if he didn't know that, then like he's being silly. Like he knew he was going to get messed I bet up. He thought he it went was in like there anyway. Twenty to one or something. So like, so just to, just to go and do a boxing match shirtless in front of this many people, like, yeah, that's mm-hmm. brave of you. That takes balls. Yep. Uh, especially yes. knowing that it's very likely that you're going to get fed. Like that, that absolutely takes yeah, balls. I, I don't, I don't, I, maybe that's I, why he did it. Maybe he thought there was food in there. I, I think, <laughs> I'm gonna feed you. Oh, yes. I, think, <laughs> look, I, I know it wasn't a good showing by Boogie, but mm-hmm. um, it's like I told him when he was on here. If you finish, you should count that as a win. If you don't go 100%. down, you should count that as a win because you're dealing with a much younger, much, mm-hmm. and I don't mean healthy as sort of in like a like a like oh I don't know you don't look very healthy. I mean, like a man with far fewer serious medical issues than him, mm-hmm. a healthier, younger, like fitter man who's bigger. I don't yeah. know if I said that considerably bigger. And wait, I don't wait, mean wait. like, oh, he's taller, taller, yeah, taller yeah. and more muscular. I you think know, he's lighter, though. He's, he's like 12 I years think, younger. It's a big difference. Yeah. I mean, it, 
I'm not saying it went well for Boogie, but at least he finished. You know, he got his yeah. check. I, I saw he did a reaction video, I think Boogie mm. did. And so like that means he's in high spirits about the whole thing. Yeah. So so I say big know. ups to Wings, big ups to Boogie, both of them for doing it. Very impressive. None of us were were quick to say like, oh, yeah, this is going to happen. We all you know thought, oh, it's going to back up. No, they fucking proved a lot of people wrong, got yeah. their asses in the ring and fought. That was oh, it has you know, wings with, with how much fun Wings had. He's gonna get back in the mix, you think? Yeah, he's heavier, mm, but he but to. like he's he I just he's just taller and broader and mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. He's see just you know like uh, Wings looks like frame. a boxer here and Boogie looks like he's in one of those like Dove body commercials. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, like it, it's it's a body acceptance Dove commercial and there's gonna be a a, a pregnant <laughs> black lady next to <laughs> with stretch marks and uh, and I'll like. And an Indian lady who's who's got a huge ass but no boobs. <laughs> I'll fight wings and or buggy. That would be good. You could swap this scale out don't, from like don't agree to that. LPs. Don't agree to that. Why? They would set that up. Beat wings shit wings is you. gonna wings is gonna piece you up. Yeah, he knows what Wait, he's doing. And he's he weighs. He? He's what about is that, five ten ish, five nine ish. He's the same height. You know, I got equal chance. I reckon. You think you could beat up wings of redemption? <laughs> no, this, I don't think I've got enough mass in my arm to throw. No, he's on T hit. as well. Is, is he? Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. he's, I he's been on T for yeah. over a year. That's the other thing. I, I don't know if we on T. His schedule, like every two weeks. I don't know if it's the same. But we. Here's what Boogie to, should do. He I should cry know. out asterisk, asterisk. Fucking, <laughs> fucking show pictures of Wings holding the bottle of testosterone <laughs> and the syringes up because he's done that before. You know, he's explained how his how his thing works. I don't know if he's still on it, but I know he he was on it, and that's not supposed supposed to be something you just hop off of. I know that um, body fat low is your T, right? I, I don't know where like in the yeah. spectrum of that, but I bet both of them have really suppressed T. Yeah, yeah. It's also yeah. not anymore though, because wings it. should have like yeah, super physiological. He look, I'm not a doctor. I, you know, I I, I use Doctor Dare um, for for a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just thought like when he. And maybe he changed his regimen, but when he described it before, it seemed like he was taking maybe a lot, but too infrequently or something like that. And that's not even like someone's opinion. It's just that Esther has a half life and he's going well beyond it. So he's getting these, you know, low T, then high T in the middle and then low T. And he's just up and down throughout the course of it was like a couple weeks, three weeks, maybe even. But, you know, not a doctor like. If you're you would imagine it would give you high. mood swings. I know if you were a woman and your estrogen was doing that or, or whatever, I bet, or whatever that hormone is that, that makes you, uh, you, you, you gals the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> there's a really like, funny, like, this, oh, go around. I uh, know. I like in conversation, both as a joke, but then occasionally, accidentally, Taylor <laughs> and I have messed up and been like, yeah, she'll be here in a minute. Or where's she at? <laughs> and it's like, fuck. I bet I would yeah. hold a door for that dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Antichrist will be sneaky because he's not gonna he's not gonna come out and be you know he's not gonna have horns. He's gonna be he's gonna be a, a tricky good guy who does stuff like heal the blind. <laughs> <laughs> the mark of the Mr. Beast. <laughs> the mark of Wait, the beast. Right, hang on the, the mark of the right, Mr. Right, hang on, hang on a minute. You've just struck on something. Mm. I think I may have. Mm. I think you might. Does what do you know about the beast? Uh, the, the mark of the beast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. mark of the Mister Beast. The, the mark of the Mister Beast. That's, that's just what, a hickey. Yeah, the mark of the Mister Beast <laughs> is when you you buy one of his chocolate Did bars. He, has <laughs> he? <laughs> just not like going to get an MRI. Or something. No, like. we'll <laughs> talk about. This. Don't like forget that point. topic. I've got that written down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're referencing the event, right? That happened. Huh, not no. just making a joke, right? Oh, you don't know what happened. I do no. not. All I right. So, does everyone know what a rail gun is? <laughs> yeah. You know. All I right. Know so, in it, theory, can you explain it. The Nazis okay, have so you're one? using electromagnets to accelerate a projectile down a barrel. So, the same way that uh, you've, you've used magnets before and they repel one another, mm-hmm. they're doing that over and over in sequence, timed perfectly by like a fly-by wire system, so that you accelerate these objects really. Uh, fast and uh, without any propellant. A man went in for an MRI with a butt plug in recently and he became a human railgun because 
Now, his complaint, and he noted this in his lawsuit because, yes, he survived, oh, was that that butt plug said 100% silicone. Mm. But in the core was a steel uh, item there, you know, just a steel core, like, uh, I guess for weight or, you mm -hmm. know, rigidness. And Who so the MRI the being... The MRI being the most powerful magnet any of us will ever come into contact with unless we work at CERN or something and are accelerating yeah. protons. <laughs> 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 um, it accelerated that fucking um, a butt plug. plug all the way up to like here. And I'm, I'm, I'm slapping my, my hand on my, the middle of my chest sort of area. It's like up in his shit so goddamn far. And of course, literally there an MRI. So they got a good image of it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait sure. why would they not put you through a metal detector before? did you eat a butt plug right just now <laughs> no well then we have an issue <laughs> they just oh, there you go oh my god they How go on your live? word all right they put so, you all right, in the, so. the world's biggest magnet without just like hey did you do you have oh any metal god, on you guys. and you if you can't remember you just take your life i think oh they my, ask you oh about tattoos is there iron in a tattoo or something hang on guys i'm seeing so many things here so what this is is a is a an, i think a standard x-ray or something they did after the event this is the oh my god let's figure out what's happened to him oh. look down at where his asshole is they have inserted a a, a a thing and inflated it to to staunch the bleeding and create a new asshole for him because his old one is gone that is ah. that 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 like gray area that's perfect, Zach. Yeah, that's the the gray bulbous thing right above his pelvis. That has been that's something they have inserted into him and then inflated for the purposes of sealing his butt. Because look how wide the back part of that butt plug is, yeah. the part that you kind of grab with oh, a couple fingers. Oh my god. Yeah, that ripped through him. So he no longer has an asshole. Um oh. and I think if you look at the the plug itself, there are two round spheres in it. Those are metal. Uh, so this guy wasn't hmm. even close in his guess. It looks like it's mostly metal. It's mostly <laughs> metal. That's a really big butt plug. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. like an artillery shell, dude. Nah, you know he that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on that level, level yet, Woody. Man, that's <laughs> the, the, the training the, phase of the steps, you know, helping. <laughs> the confidence to wear that in your asshole in an oh, MRI. Oh, it's the kink. Right, he he wanted. Or, to be oh, of course he wanted it in his ass. Yeah. But it's like, come come on, man! Now you got it way in your. It, it could even your also ass. be this went way better than he ever thought. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, he, this, he might surpassed all. He might have also wanted the 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 novelty of having an MRI of himself with with that thing in his butt, and thought that mm -hmm. was going to be cool to have. Oh, like, uh, makes but, sense. And, I mean, and look, he turned out turned out he was right. He has an incredible uh, series of scans here. But his he's never going to shit right. That's I don't know. It's like a like a printer. He's going to gonna get a colostomy bag for sure. I, dollars of donuts. He's getting a colostomy. Oh, bag. I he's hope real, not. I cannot believe oh, this person's I, I alive. Know so. Are you are you sure this person's alive? You're sure? Surely they wouldn't have put that much work in after. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but my recollection is that he was filing suit. I'm not sure if he's suing the MRI operator or the the butt plug company, but I think it might have been the butt plug because it says 100% silicone on the outside. But they mean on the outside. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. it's it's so that you know that. Ah. Oh God! Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. So is this like you the know, Amazon I, listing? It showed that there's ball bearings in it. And to be <laughs> fair, like now that I'm looking, it's possible that even though it showed up on the scan looking a certain way, that the the grabby part in the back was semi flexible. But and I still stand got, by that they had something stuck in his butt there to 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 keep it from bleeding out or falling out. I wonder if it happened. Oh, instantly. don't don't circle that one, Zach. No, <laughs> no. Did it happen oh, instantly man. or did it like escalate? Was it like gah, 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 gah. instantly? I bet it was instant. Yeah, it's so fast. Okay. How big is two inches, Taylor? I'm trying to imagine it. Can you uh, just like, you can just like, do you like about this. the size of your thumb? Okay. No, that means two, th that. Isn't that what he's circling around? Oh, that's around diameter. Means? Doesn't that mean two, yeah, yeah, two inches in diameter, right? Fucking how big that two is. Two inches in diameter is, is the thickness from edge to edge. And it's yeah. like... That's how a much big is a, How much is a soda can? That's always a good... Uh, like a 12-ounce soda can is a good what's one to a, go what's by. What's a soda that, can? What do you think? Three something? This is definitely bigger than two. I call it two and three quarters. Well, then that was a serious ass plug. Yeah. Fucking... 
<laughs> oh, what he said three Damn. inches, Taylor. How, how how wide is a soda can in the middle? <sighs> what did you say? I said two, two and, and three quarters. I'm gonna say two and five eighths. It's three exactly. One, it's three oh, I'm exactly. sorry, I cut you off. I'm sorry, oh, Fenster. Oh, shit. I was gonna say one. I was gonna say smaller than two. Mm. It's is three. it two inches, Zach? Uh, oh, oh, what he's already no, proof so read. The can okay. is exactly three. Read, but... Okay. Look at that. I don't know what Zach things. has there, but I, I Googled it. Yeah. I think it's uh, a cock It's ring. just like a. Either way. Yeah, this is a helpful <laughs> picture with the penny. Yeah, this guy's. Oh, it's learning what two inches is. I understand. Hmm. Although he would also oh. have needed to handle the penny before. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a funny thing. <laughs> Using American <laughs> currency as the. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I that's keep, what's interesting about sending a message to aliens. It's like, mm. oh yeah, it, it, we're this, not that, and they're like, what the fuck are those two things? Mm. <laughs> you know? I have a friend that the whenever they visited the UK, they I didn't realize they were doing this, but they were making up currency in America. I knew what a quarter was, I didn't know, and I know what a cent was, and they just kept making up gibberish words, and they're like, this is whatever fifteen cents is, and it was just nonsense words, and I believed them for way too long. <laughs> this oh, is I love uh, that. a quickle. This is a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it was stuff like that. Didn't this know. is a gimbal. It's yeah, like this is a gimbal. Sense. Yeah, a time. Wait, I, <laughs> I think I in olden times. When they, yeah, when they in olden times we far. had much cooler currency. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I, I stepped on you twice. What'd you? you what <laughs> no, I was gonna say I, I I definitely clocked on as soon as they said something like, "Oh, this is a flube," you know. Dollar bills real. Remember this like I, in the olden times, Kyle. I don't all right, know. so obviously it's a, it's a huge amount of time, but I'm thinking of American currency, uh, those Wild West style banknotes, the banknotes from the 1850s to, to 1900s or so, were big. You had like a almost like a, a half a sheet of notebook paper, like 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 this big stack of of money, and then they had different denominations. Mm -hmm. I I really like the golden coins, which at the time I assume no, I know. Like, like whatever, whatever, whatever that weight of coin was, was the value of gold that it was. Right. So a 20, twenty dollar gold piece represented that gold right now is worth twenty dollars for this fucking much. So whether I'm handing it to you at the mercantile store or whatever for pay or I'm uh, the mercantile store <laughs> <laughs> the or uh, or you're melting it down and handing it to the, the gold smelter, um, yes. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going to come out with the same value either way. It's like mm -hmm. Bitcoin, you know? so, so they life. had tons of different denominations of, of coins of, yeah. of silver and gold back then that meant what they were. And like, uh, do you know why they added those lines, like the ridged texturing to the outside of coins, like in the Roman Empire? Because the yes. they didn't they didn't used to have that on the edge. And what people would do is they would clip coins. And so they'd get a coin oh. of gold and they'd clip the edges off and be like, hey, I'll pay you for this. And like, they don't know, like you clipped some, you were clipping the coins. And so they started adding textures. So like, you could tell, Hey, this coin's been clipped. This is not what it's actually worth. It's weighs less than this now. And so that, that was probably that. a really, you can also feel by, you can also tell by feel if you're blind, you know, really easily mm. uh, what's going on. Dimes to pennies, a cer certainly yeah. with the ridges. Mm. But yeah, I remember uh, watching a whole thing about how people would, and when they find the old coins from Roman coins, I think mm. a lot, um, they'll be clipped. Uh, sort of like um like like, like with nail livestock's thing. ears will be clipped sometimes this little triangle cut out of them um but yeah they're just taking a little chunk of silver out of the out of the fucking yeah. dinar Very or whatever that thing's enough. called who do we think um drinks the most because i'm gonna go with a korea i was gonna say because i've heard that you about were Korea's going to say too. that but i made and up you the you game because i know the answers so <laughs> <laughs> Well, then, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Everybody, guess Korea. <laughs> this game will be what is Kyle's favorite food? <laughs> God, he's running the table what's on in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just dominating this. God, ever since we agreed to put money on Kyle-based trivia, I've been <laughs> yeah. especially the subjective point hour. <laughs> what is Kyle's current favorite? I hate these. <laughs> I never get these right. What I'm not looking forward to is this onion oh. that, I, oh. that I cut up. We need to, and, so we see it better. It's hard to see through the plastic wrap. There it is. Oh, that that's an onion. It's a bunch. It's a. I picked the most acrid white onion I could find, Kyle, for you. Very nice. 
and my eyes hurt. Pouring cranberry juice into it. I don't know what the effect of that. I don't know. I was just joking around about making as horrific as possible. I was like, you're gonna you're gonna pour juice Uh, on there and eat it like tomato juice. I hope. Now, not V8 because that's actually tomato would actually be good because then you've almost got a soup, right? Tomato and I'm not little little known fact. (laughs) Packed with protein, superfood. There's no protein in there at all. Not even a little. Mm-mm. There's so much protein in it. <laughs> you lie to yourself. It's, it's packed with protein. It's mostly <laughs> acid and uh, fiber. What, what the audience doesn't know is he <laughs> cut that onion at that desk shortly before the show. And when we like, we all get on a few minutes before the show starts. His yeah. old his eyes are so red. <laughs> he had yeah. been crying. I was tearing up over there. <laughs> the, I don't. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat an entire onion. No one can eat an entire <laughs> onion. You just finished off that slice. Well, there, is right? that a dare? Maybe two <laughs> or three. <more. laughs> I mean, that, it's, that's gayer than twirling your hair. Not I mean, I eat my onions by the bushel, but if you want to one at a time, it all right. Yeah. I'm going to get all sorts of, of I'm going to get every bit of vitamins from this onion because I, I haven't eaten anything today. I, oh, you're not, uh, there can't be chromium. much nutritional value in an onion. Zach, go ahead and pull the uh, nutrition value on an onion up. Yeah, Zach. That's, a, <laughs> look, that's a white onion, Zach, not yellow, which was a uh, poor you know, choice. You know what? I almost, I was about to really pull <laughs> a uh, sweet tea in a vodka bottle and buy a Vidalia onion. Mm. And I was like, someone would probably be able to tell. <laughs> yeah. What's a Vidalia I, I use, onion? This is kind of down here in Vidalia, Georgia. It's the only place in the world you can get a Vidalia onion is Vidalia, Georgia. It's, it's, it's kind of like... <laughs> It's is like, that true? Yeah, it is. Um, it's like it's not champagne it, unless it's it, from the champagne 100%, region of France. That's exactly what the, the <laughs> Paris now is going to use. Um, yeah, they're sweet onions. They're very large um, sometimes. Like I've seen them huge. They're the onions that we use for like blooming onions. Uh, mm. There was one time where I had a blooming onion making kit and you buy these three or four pound onions that are huge and, you know, you make a whole gigantic blooming onion. I've tasted Bloomin' Onion, and I like it, but even the fattest, most decadent version of me didn't really eat Bloomin' Onions. It was just too much. It's it's so good. That dipping sauce is so good. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that That's, uh, you know, it's just mayonnaise and fucking spices or something. But yeah, Bloomin' Onions are amazing, but but no. I mean, they it's a giant fried, battered onion, right? Um, I've, I've, man, I can smell my own breath so strongly. With the oh, onion, the onions? Though. Yeah, I don't want to keep eating it, but I feel like I should eat more of it. I have a little. Yeah, I, I think had you should do more earlier. What is? <laughs> what? No, I'm just trying to I think. Had, of I had a big bite do. this one. Oh yeah, that is. Kyle, a... have you watched the? Oh, <laughs> nice. Put in full screen. Crunchy. I think by far the hardest job is being a landlord. And the you most. Know, oh, this is a good job. take. I yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah, because these guys are giving people places to live, taking the nation's all the heroes. Houses. The mm-hmm. nation's heroes. Nine eleven responders wish <laughs> that, <laughs> they were landlords. that they were landlords. Dude, this needs in to the be- most heroic <laughs> city <laughs> of New York. <laughs> Salute to the landlords of New York City, <laughs> the finest people in this United States. <laughs> <laughs> you have that aggressive, <laughs> that aggressive emotional. <laughs> I think it's about what they do. Like you're crying on the inside. Oh, you're so landlord. goddamn proud. That you salute. Know, if mm-hmm. you want to own a home, don't blame a landlord for buying it first. Do what the landlord did to earn hey, that. Hey, bird catches the wind. He chose his peasants. parents properly. Yes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just you're the idiot who chose poor parents. Don't, don't blame them. Dumbass. Why didn't you strike while the iron was hot in 1988? <laughs> Why don't you just get a big building and don't care if there's running water in it and then shove a bunch of people in there on government subsidies and you get your money? You know what I do? Now, what I always do come back to is why don't they move to a more rural area? Who? And uh, oh, anyone teacher. who's complaining about these things, about the, the high prices of things, they often live in these big cities where things are really expensive. And okay, you got to live in a city to do your job. Move to fucking Atlanta, bro. You know how cheap it is in Atlanta compared to the other any other major city you've heard of in America? Boston, fucking New York, oh, really? LA, all those mm-hmm. places. Atlanta's cheap as shit. For but a major like, city. Yeah. My mm-hmm. rent is, is, is like, I have a big house. With, with many rooms and it's low rent it's it's my rent is double what i paid when i was 19 in a one-bedroom apartment it and and this is a house uh, it, it's 
it's so low you don't feel bad about renting here that Damn. you get so much value for your money and especially if you're splitting it with somebody so but i hear about these people with 2500 a month 5000 a month 10000 a month and my god how could you stomach that how could well unless you're geared in you're a guy like tucker you know who's who's mm-hmm. who's really profiting from being right there in town mm-hmm. sure. where he can collaborate and do things what the fuck are you doing why aren't you in atlanta why aren't you in a suburb why aren't you in the country mm-hmm. if you could let go of being a cosmopolitan person in the big city i bet you'd live a happier life in some smaller oh, yeah. town where gasoline well gasoline costs the same but everything else is cheaper like like the rent where yeah. i'm from if you don't mind living in the country you know, it's, it's few, it's hundreds of dollars, yeah. not thousands of dollars. It's, if you're like a so Twitch cheap. streamer who just doesn't do anything but stream from like their room, like you can either like you could be the king of Omaha. Like you could be the guy in Oklahoma City who owns the biggest house in Oklahoma City. You could have, like, you could have a compound. People around you will start to talk like that's land is so cheap. Yeah. Y- yeah. The, the property values are in L.A. You, properties like. Six or seven thousand dollars for an acre. Um, when when you get out into the country, you know, compare that to to, to just millions of dollars for a quarter of an acre, w- which is what you see in in, in the cities. It's uh, I don't know. I, I never hate the landlords, but I do. What I do hate is I hate the I don't like the blind hate against anyone who rents a property because that's what I feel. Uh, what I see most rents on the out internet. Of property. Like hey, yeah, who rent? rents out a part property? Who, a, a land, anyone in general who accepts rent. Uh, but but I really don't like the gigantic corporations that are coming around and just buying yeah. everything up over market values, driving the those values up, and then just renting everything <laughs> out. They own entire neighborhoods mm-hmm. out here. Like every every one of my neighbors has the same trash can, huh? How that happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like every one of these houses is owned by some big company. We're all just every month. It might be my age, but I no longer have much patience for people who hate the way the world is, as mm. opposed to the ones I admire who try to thrive in the way the world is. So, like, it, whatever. If you go into nursing and then spend the next your entire career complaining that nurses don't make enough money, dude, it was that way since before I was born, and I'm really old. Like yeah, it, it, yeah. nursing salaries didn't catch you by surprise. Oh, did you become a veterinarian? And now you have a tremendous amount of um, uh, student loan debt and your salary is not that of a doctor, of someone who's equivalently educated. You should have went into this wide open. Save the tears for your mom who might give a flying fuck because <laughs> I'm not that guy. I don't care. This is what you signed up for. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, like, <sighs> oh, d- does this guy own like four houses on the side? Yeah. He scrimped and saved during his 20s, bought some houses during his 30s, you know, made some good moves. And now in his 40s, he's got a couple homes to rent out and he's he's got some passive income. Do it. Do it. It sucked for him. I guarantee you he didn't have a nice car when he was saving for those homes. He didn't take the vacations. He didn't you know he missed out mm-hmm. on a lot of cool shit so that he could set himself up for his future. Those options still exist today. And you just discredit mm-hmm. everyone before you who scrimped and saved and like got ahead it's it's definitely different now like home ownership is not as easy as it was 30 years ago like wages have stagnated interest rates are crazy right now just the, the market of homes is insane like and so i do i understand what you're saying but i will push back a bit that like this generation of young people now like the possibility of home ownership that was available to people who were their age now in 1987 like isn't there it's so not i actually there. agree and appreciate that but there have been pockets like this before. Um, I, I remember in the eighties when we bought our beach house or something, the interest rates were like 18, no 14% on a mortgage or something. It was really high. And I remember my father, I think he got an 11% mortgage and was like, damn, you know, we're doing pretty well. They're still way low. What's a mortgage rate now? 7%, something like that. Yeah. But the total of the house is so much higher. Uh, well, yeah, but I'm, what my point was is there's going to be, <clears throat> whatever five-year pockets in history where it's not a good time to buy and it's hard to time those and get it right but it will get better i don't have your interest rates will go back down i don't have your experience or maybe even your eye for this sort of thing but it seems to me like it's not going to change anytime soon because of what i mentioned earlier the way that when those companies come around they don't just buy everything 
they buy the houses you want it. You know, they, they leave you with these scraps where it's like, nobody wants to buy those homes. You know, like, like, like it's hard to find a home that you, that isn't owned by, I don't know, um, Zillow or of, BlackRock or one of those gigantic companies. So much of the economy is red hot right now. And people don't think it is because they don't, Trump would have been way better at like talking about the hot spots in the economy. But the yeah. fact that unemployment is crazy low right now and the housing prices are high and they had to raise interest rates in an effort to cool off the economy because we're kind of too heavily employed and that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that won't last forever. There will be a recession at some point. And Germany's all those houses that bought those, um, I'm sorry, all those companies that bought those houses will lose their fucking shirt if they bought when it was high. Two was, quarters there, of negative growth. That's a, that's a recession, right? That's the yeah, definition. Two? Two I quarters. Think, yeah, I thought so, it was two. I don't know. Somehow yeah. I heard. Three. Germany's in a recession. Um, Are they? Yeah. I, 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 at least the internet claimed it was today. <laughs> <laughs>